What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Talk for a brand new sneaker haul. Now this past weekend was SneakerCon Toronto and so I picked up a couple pairs of shoes I wanted to share with you guys and there was also a huge Yeezy drop this past weekend with two brand new 350 V2s which I picked up and want to show you guys along with September being a really big month for Yeezy. There's been a lot of Yeezy drops and I think I'll be doing a full Yeezy discussion video for the month of September coming up very soon because a lot of people were asking me about my thoughts and opinions so I figured I'd do it all in one video for you but today. Today we have a ton of pickups, so let's get into it. So to start things off, we have a trade I did at SneakerCon. Now I used to have this like glow-in-the-dark city camouflage shark hoodie, uh, Bape shark hoodie of course, and uh, I ended up trading that for another shark hoodie. I didn't realize it at the time. I thought it was a pretty fair trade, but looking back at it now, the value of the hoodie I have is about half the value of my gray or glow-in-the-dark city shark hoodie, but this is the new pickup, which I regret, the Adidas and Bape collaboration the shark hoodie that they did for Super Bowl weekend. This is a different kind of material than your typical shark hoodie. It's not that regular cotton. This has more of this like performance kind of material. The Adidas performance logo there. We've got the Super Bowl Bape logo here on the side. We've got some three stripe branding on the side here too. And of course, some Adidas branding in gold. Again, I definitely regret trading it because the hoodie I traded was worth double the amount of this. I just didn't do my research. It was sort of like an impulse trade. Next up, we have some Nike sneakers. Now, these these I ended up buying as like an impulse buy. I was buying my girlfriend some lunch and I was walking past the trading pit. So I ended up buying these shoes right here. I saw them at the corner of my eye and I had a feeling they were my size just based off of how big the shoe was. And these here are the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2 Hot Lava colorway. Now these right here are an all time classic in my opinion. These Nike sneakers dropped over the summer and I decided to pass on them just because I was picking up way too many sneakers at that time. And uh, being able to find these for below retail at SneakerCon, I was more than happy to pick these up. These were actually uh, an outlet find. I asked the person where they found these and they have no box because I'm like, yo, they're obviously an outlet find or not no box, but no lid. So they cut off the lid at the outlet. And so I asked the seller who sold me these, yo, where did you buy these from? Like what outlet did you get these in? Did you get them in Toronto or outside of Canada? And he said Dixie Outlet Mall. That's the mall we go to all the time, Dixie Outlet Mall. And he's one of those people that go to the outlets early in the morning every single weekend. So that's definitely motivated me to want to hit up those Nike outlets early in the morning so you get first dibs at all of the new sneakers that they bring out for the clearance sales. Here's a look at these sneakers on feet right now. These do fit half a size small in my opinion so I go up a size in these to 10.5 while I usually wear a size 10 in my Nike sneakers. So with that said, let's get to the next pickup. Now I have one more sneaker con to pick up to show you guys but before I get to that and of course all of the Yeezys I picked up, I want to show you guys some heat that Ape sent me over. Now if you guys don't know Ape, they're like the sister company of a bathing ape, you know, Bape. And they sent over a care package right here with a bunch of stuff. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous package that Ape sent me, they sent over three pairs of shoes and a bunch of clothing. So if you guys want to see the recent Ape sneakers that they sent me over the spring summer season, I'll leave that video linked down below and a pop-up card as well. But with that said, if you're a hype beast, if you want some cool accessories to add to your collection or some new t-shirts, definitely stay tuned for what I have to show you guys in this little mystery box. So to start off, let's, uh, let's go with this white box right here. Now, I had no idea what was in here. One of my friends, or I think my sister, thought these were gonna be shoes, or my mom thought these were gonna be shoes, but I'm like, yo, what kind of shoes are gonna fit in a box this small? Like, this is a very, very small white box. So, let me open it up for you guys. This this blew my mind. So, there's some extra packaging in here. So, I saw this and I was like, okay, it's probably fragile. I open this up, or take it out, and bam, take a look at this. It's like a Hype Beast Ape tea set. And let me take it out of the box real quick. We have these little, little, little cups right here. This is sick. This is actually so cool. So thank you so much, the friends over at Ape. These will be really, really nice for when I move out. I'll have some like actual sort of, not fine china, but I can, I can, you know, I can use this. I can definitely use this for my tea morning, afternoon, or night. And then we also have a little teapot as well. So this is the little lid right here, but of course it also has the bottom part, which is the more important part. Bam, here we have it. This is the little teapot thing. It also has a little diffuser or whatever that's called for 
for the tea. And uh, yeah, this is just such a cool little hype beast accessory. If you are in a country that has ape, this is definitely gonna be a cool little like gift you can give somebody if they're really into hype beast accessories and stuff like that. And uh, if you love tea and you're a hype beast, this is also another great addition to any collection. So that's the first pickup from ape. Next up, we have a longer rectangular box right here. Now at first, I thought this was gonna be like a portable charger because you guys know portable chargers are probably one of the easiest accessories you can make. And it's a very practical kind of accessory because it's something you can use pretty much every day if your phone's low on juice. But taking this out of its box and it'll reveal actually a, uh, a hype beast pocket fan, you could call it. Like, check it out. A nice little fan you can carry with you. It's quite portable. You can throw this thing in your backpack or your side bag. It's that small. And if it's a really hot day, you know, just bring this bad boy out, get a little fan action going on. It comes clutch. The next accessory I want to show you guys is this cool, like, yo-yo. It's not like a yo-yo. It straight up is a yo-yo. It's a hype beast yo-yo. Um, so here it is. This is the ape yo-yo right here. Very, very cool. Has a small little design of like a monkey surfing. It says a aper surfing club by a bathing ape. So that's really dope. And then last but not least, they sent over two bags. Now these bags have some t-shirts in them, which I've taken out already, but it is cool to show you guys that all ape t-shirts come like individually packaged in their special little bag. And they also included a little note here as well, which I just found. It says, hey Christian, hope you like it and enjoy. Signed Kakai or Kiki Kakai? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but thank you ape. So this first tee, I'm sure some of my anime homies will really, really like. They did do a recent collaboration and uh, let me just show you guys this right here. Actually, I think it's like Dragon Ball Z, not just Dragon Ball, but here we have it. We got like this golden Frieza print right here with the ape logo. And uh, that's dope, man. That is dope. I mess with this a lot. The yellow, the purple, the contrast is really nice. And it's all incorporated into the A Ape logo right here. It says A Ape Now by a bathing ape. So that is the T. Thank you very much. On the back, it has a small little logo as well. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super. Oh, that's, that's why I didn't recognize the, the Frieza right away. Um, it's Dragon Ball Super. I haven't actually seen Dragon Ball Super, but if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Super or you know the Dragon Ball series, this is a cool pick. Up and I'm sure they have a bunch more tees from this collection. So if you can find them, I'll throw them up on screen right now. And now on to the final item that Ape by a Bathing Ape sent over is this long sleeve t-shirt. We have the Ape logo right here on the chest. And then on the side, you actually have some more branding where it reads a Ape by a Bathing Ape in this font. So nice little detail there on the side of the shirt. It's nothing too loud. It's more of like a subtle flex. This is a really good layering piece as well for the fall and winter. So this next sneaker pickup, I actually got in a trade at SneakerCon. I traded my yellow first camouflage hoodie and I think they added about $60. And we got this right here, a pair of Yeezy Boost 350s. Now these are unfortunately not in my size. These are a size nine. So if you have a size 9.5 or 10, and if you're in Toronto, please hit me up. I would love to do a size swap or a trade. I know size nine is more valuable than 10. So I just want a straight trade. That's all I want. I want to get a pair that I can actually wear. But here we go. Ooh, pull those out. Here we have it. These are the Cloud White Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Now these right here are a shoe that I wanted, but I couldn't enter the raffles for because even if I won the raffles in Toronto, I would not be able to pick up the pair because I would be at SneakerCon. Very happy I was able to get these at SneakerCon. Someone brought these to my table and they were actually a subscriber as well who did the trade with me. And I definitely want to do a review for these very, very soon. And I honestly don't know how to legit check the Cloud White Yeezy. So please don't ask me if I can legit check your pair. I get a lot of DMs asking me, but I could trust the seller for this pair because they said they were a subscriber and they also had the uh, the matching receipt here as well. So I wasn't worried about these being fake. And if you're bringing fakes to SneakerCon and you're trying to finesse people, that takes some balls. So uh, yeah, thank you to the subscriber who traded these for me. I appreciate you. I think your name is Kyle. It might've been Kyle, might not have been, but thank you to the subscriber who did the trade with me. Next up, we have some Yeezy pickups that I did not pick up at SneakerCon. So these were purchased after SneakerCon and I ended up buying quite a few few pairs of these. So I'll have a vlog of me shopping around for this pair very, very soon, probably tomorrow. But these are sitting, man. Does no one want these Yeezys? Like what is, what's going on? What's going on? So I got more than one pair of these. I have more waiting for me downstairs. I'll show you guys in a future video. But these right here are the Citroen Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Now these are still available at a lot of stores. So if you are on the hunt for a pair of Yeezys, this is a solid colorway for the fall in my opinion. They basically take that sort of static Yeezy 2.5 kind of look 
and they slap it onto the sesame colorway. So if you like the sesames and you like the statics, this is definitely a shoe I think you will like, another hybrid fusion kind of Yeezy. And not a lot of people are digging these ones. I honestly am not a huge fan of these either, but it's still a really solid sneaker. It's just one of the lesser, like less favorite, uh, less favorite. It's probably one of the lower ranked Yeezys in my opinion, because the other colorways were just, you know, really good. There was a lot of really, really good 350 V2s that came out this year. So before we get to the final sneaker pickup, the last Yeezy I wanna show you guys, I wanna ask you guys the common question of the day, which is which Yeezy 350 V2 do you guys like more? Do you guys like the uh, the cloud white Yeezy 350 V2s or do you like the Citrins? I used to call these the Citruses at one point, I don't know why. The Citrins or the cloud whites, which Yeezy do you guys prefer? You can hit that poll in the top right hand corner of the screen or comment down below letting me know and I'll try and incorporate your comments in the next video. With that said, I also asked you guys in a previous video, what were your favorite all black sneakers? So here were some of your responses. comment so I can give you guys a shout out in the future video for you know which Yeezy you guys like more the cloud whites or the citrons I'll probably incorporate your comments into the Yeezy vlog I upload let's get to the final sneaker pickup another Yeezy now these final Yeezys don't have any boost I know what Yeezys without boost what are they a 500 no they're actually not a 500 they're not a Nike Yeezy they're in fact a Yeezy desert boot Yes, I, I bought them, I caved. These are still readily available at pretty much every store that gets Yeezys. So these are like the Yeezy Desert Boot 500s. I think these are like inspired or they use the they use the molding or the, the main shape of the 500s. Here we go. These things are built like a freaking monster, man. These are thick. These are hella, hella thick. Now these are not gonna be for everybody, but I wanted to try the Yeezy boots out this winter, this fall season. And uh, if I like them, I'll let you guys know. If I don't like them, I'll let you guys know, of course, in the review coming up. So as you guys know, they did do the Yeezy 500 Salt colorway. This is basically like a high top version of it. So if you like the 500 Salts, then you can pick these up as well. I mean, you probably might not want to pick them up because they're the exact same colorway, but they did do two other colorways, more of a chocolate dark brown, and then almost like a wheat-ish kind of color. Not quite wheat, but I'll leave those pictures up on screen right now. So yeah, if you guys know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of the Yeezy 500. It's my least favorite Yeezy they've ever done, but I did want to experiment with this see how I like it, see how I can style it. If I don't like it, I can always sell it or give it away. I know some people ask me, yo, a top 10 sneakers for winter video, but like we're in Canada. If you're wearing sneakers in, in Canada during the winter, you're dying, man. You're, you're out here dying in the freezing cold. If you guys like this kind of content, the pickup videos, please subscribe, hit that notification bell down below. And if you're already subscribed, please think about turning on those notifications because YouTube has been slacking on getting their videos out. If you guys have noticed, the view counts on the recent videos have been way, way lower than usual. So do me a huge favor, check out the previous videos if you missed them. Feel free to binge watch them. We'll be doing more giveaways over on Instagram. It's at SneakerTalksCA and more giveaways and hangout sessions over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sneaker Talk CA. We stream on there Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're always giving away merch and free sneakers. We're giving away a pair of NMDs on Monday at 8. So come hang out. Link down below. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.